Well, we go back to the opening period. Wasn't great for Toledo. They gave up just the one goal. Jake Patterson beaten there. The blue line chance. Toledo had a lot of very good opportunities over the course of the hockey game. As we're taking a look at our Huntington Bank game, highlights including A.J. Jenks, good drive to the net. Toledo had two power plays in the first period as well. Then neither one scored on, but they certainly generated a lot of chances, a lot of momentum on that power play. You carry it in to the second period of very early, it would be Evan Rankin starting less than a minute in, finding the back of the net. We had a tie game very early on in period number two. Then the highlights would continue. Toledo's power play clicking again. Matt Cato, he finds the back of the net here, even strength. That was less than a minute after Rankin had scored. That made it a two to one game. And then the highlight goal of the day, Evan Rankin not even looking at the net, finding the top corner with the backhand. What a goal, made a 3-1 Toledo at that point. They weren't done in the second because Evan Rankin wasn't done. He would score before the period ended. 4-1 to one, Toledo heading to the third frame. Early in the third though, this goal from Brock Higgs. All of a sudden Atlanta was within two and they kept the pressure up on Jake Patterson at one point. They had seven shots on goal. Toledo had just two in the third period, but the walleye, the goal, the goal that ended it in this day would be from Tyler Smith. Great lead from Tyler Secura. Toledo would add another on the power play in the waning seconds for Matthew Santos on that little chip at the side of the net. Toledo goes on for the victory by a final count of six to two. Final look at the Roots Poultry stats from this game. 29-20, the final shots in the contest in favor of the Toledo Walleye. They finished up one for six on the power play, stopped both chances from the Atlanta Gladiators. And Jake Patterson picks up the victory. Uh, good for Jake to get back into the win column after he had lost two straight. This 